The most important decision that any of us made was that we were going to take these characters who we love and thrust them into a new adventure and send them into danger yet again. Uh, they weren't going to be observing this from afar. Uh, they were going to be engaged from the very beginning. Uh, the plot actually is driven by Ellie's story and by Grant's story. In this film, even though uh, we have more animatronics than ever, we have more dinosaur species than ever, uh, every time you see one, I, I hope that that is a, a moment of wonder, a unique moment of wonder unto itself. If, if a new dinosaur is coming into the film, it's going to get a hero's entrance, just like the actors do. I love the idea that the kind of, um, the kind of adventurer that would exist in a world in which dinosaurs uh, and humans uh, both walk the earth, uh, that was a new character I haven't seen before. And we got to create her from scratch. And so Kayla Watts is a cargo pilot who flies dinosaurs all around the world and, and uh, used to be in the Air Force and, and got into, uh, you know, a world that has some pretty shady characters in it. Uh, and uh, having to navigate that world and see how it's uh, probably made her not trust anybody uh, and probably not really willing to, to thrust herself into a situation where she's going to put herself, uh, you know, at, at risk for others. Uh, and that's the change she goes through in this movie is you, you see her witness a situation that, that she actually uh, could have a, a real hand in, in doing some good. From the beginning, we really wanted to make something that was new enough and fresh enough that it could give people a reason to come back to the theater uh, and also give kids a reason to hopefully go back and watch the original films. Um, the first trilogy had three characters who we loved, and then the sequels were about Owen and Claire, who hopefully we also care about. And now in the case of Dominion, we wanted to integrate them uh, and make the case that this was actually one long story from the very beginning. The thing that makes people love dinosaur movies in general is that we know they were real. You know, they're not aliens, they're not monsters. They were real animals that existed on this planet. So when you see them on screen, you feel like you're watching something that's actually happening. Um, it, is a, it is a specialized craft uh, to see what John Nolan was capable of uh, and, and to be able to give him the opportunity, uh, not just to make animatronics for a Jurassic movie, but to make more than had ever been made for a single movie uh, just excited me.